But time now. It is 8.36 in the morning. I'm on this. Wednesday morning. July the 9th. 2014 on a Wednesday morning. Time now for the water magician, Peter J. Wiggins. The Border Report. Wednesday morning, July the 9th, 2014. Down, 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 down. A good morning to you all this lovely Wednesday morning. Our congregation is at 8.37 a.m. in North Massachusetts. Temperature 76 degrees with first skies. Humidity is 74 percent. Wind speed southwest about 7 miles per hour. 20 4 inches. Dew point about 67 degrees. And visibly have 10 miles. Heat index 77 degrees. Air. All right, let's take a look at our radar scope. And it shows. It shows spotty rain showers at the eastern, central, eastern portions of Quebec and down from north central New Brunswick. Rain showers in west central portions of Quebec and down from eastern Ontario and down from eastern and central portions of UP and Michigan here. And some spotty rain showers around the southwestern Rhode Island line, westerly and down from southeastern Connecticut and around Stoddington. And the rain showers identified that spotty rain showers down from eastern Long Island and switched off the New Jersey coastline, we're seeing some spotty rain showers around the Baltimore, D.C. area, down for Western Virginia, down for Eastern portions of West Virginia, down for West Southwest Virginia, down for Southeastern Kentucky and Northeastern Tennessee. Spotty rain showers in East Central Virginia, Eastern coast of Virginia here, and a lot of rain showers off the Carolina and Georgia coastline and around the Bahamas, off the Miami, Florida. Back to the rain showers in North Central Florida, stretching it off the Gulf states are searching it out of southeastern Louisiana and a lot of ra rain showers from eastern Tennessee with some storms from eastern Tennessee, western North Carolina, stretching to northwest of Georgia. Northern Alabama and Alabama, central Mississippi, and central Louisiana and a lot of showers and storms from Oklahoma and Alabama, southern Arkansas here. And heavy showers and storms from northwest of Mexico, switching up from southwestern Arizona, and spotty rain showers from northwest of Nevada, northeastern California, and from eastern Oregon. A lot of rain showers from eastern Wyoming, set north central, northwestern, and west central Nebraska, and southwestern, south Dakota, spotty rain showers around Minnesota, here, north of Minneapolis. Love of North Indiana, come on, and it is 69 degrees with clear skies, here. Let's take a look at our satellite loop here. It shows a couple of batch of clouds coming from northern Michigan and northern Wisconsin, stretching out for Ontario, down for northern Quebec, and stretching it out for New Brunswick, and stretching it out for Alaska Seaboard, and stretching it out for Virginia, North Carolina, down for Kentucky, Tennessee, down for the Gulf States, and then out for Oklahoma. Now, never mind the clouds from Mexico, stretching up to the Arizona, New Mexico, stretching up to the Rockies, up to Nevada, eastern Oregon, down for eastern Washington State, down for western Idaho. And let us take a look at our map situation here. Station for one cold front from Nebraska, stretch it out for Missouri, down for the Great Lakes, and then up in the Ontario, and up in the Quebec, with a pink front up in the Western Quebec. Another cold front from Arkansas, stretch it out Tennessee, Kentucky, stretch it out for the Virginians, down for Pennsylvania, up in New York, and up in New England, and up for Eastern Quebec, with the war on front from Eastern Quebec, stretch it out of the Gulf of St. Lawrence here. Front of from New Brunswick, all the way down for North Carolina here. And a lot of further by from further from Central Oregon up to Western Washington up to Southeastern British Columbia. Further by from North Central Divided up to Central Idaho. Further by from Central Wyoming up to Northeastern Utah. Further by from the Dakotas up to Western Minnesota. Further by from Northeastern Minnesota up to Ontario. Further by down to Northern California and further by from Southern Nevada up to Western Arizona up to Western Mexico. And I never further by from Northeastern Utah up to Wyoming here. And a pair of high pressures here. And a ridge of high pressure around eastern Arizona and northern Mexico and southwestern Colorado. Another <coughs> ridge of high pressure in southeastern Saskatchewan and high pressure centered around Alabama. And low pressure in eastern Washington State, northern California, southern Nevada, and northeastern Utah. 
76 degrees at temperature in Boston and Atlanta, 75 in Washington, D.C., 82 in Miami, 79 in Brownsville, 77 in Dallas, Texas, 64 in Kansas City, 66 in Chicago, 60 in Minneapolis, 53 in Great Falls, Montana, 58 out in Seattle, 59 in San Francisco, 69 in Los Angeles, 76 in Salt Lake City, 61 in Denver, and 67 in Albuquerque. Current conditions around the region. We got 76 degrees at temperature in Boston. 75 in Fitchburg. 74 in Bedford and Beverly. 76 in Lark. 73 in Gloucester. 71 in Worcester. 74 in Webster. Bridge got 72. Milford 74. Norwood 75. Taunton 76. 74 in New Bedford. 77 in Marshfield. It's 75 in Falmouth. 72 in Chatham. 70 in Provincetown. 69 in Cape Cod Bay. 71 in Marshfield. 70 in Nantucket. 70 in Block Island. 73 from Westerly in Providence, out of Smithfield, it's 73 in Springfield, it's 69 in Amherst, 71 in Greenfield, 69 in Pittsfield, 73 in Albany, New York, 70 in Bennington, Vermont, 71 in Bradbury, Vermont, 72 in Keene, New Hampshire, 69 in Jeffrey, New Hampshire, 76 in New Hampshire, 75 in Bennington, New Hampshire, 73 in Cork, New Hampshire, 79 in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, 70 out in New Hampshire Bay, along the 75 is from Winslow, and Hartford, and New Meredith, stretching out in Danbury, it's got 70 in Waterbury, 70. Long Island side, 70 degrees, 72 in Bridgeport, 71 out in New Haven, 73 in Montauk, 72 in Nislip, and 75 in New York City. Here. All right. Forecast discussion around the country. Trail in the east and ridge in the west. Showers and thunderstorms are expected for the intermountain west and cool and dry for the upper midwest to the northeast. The upper level of part of the Friday end of the week will feature a trail across the eastern half of the United States while a wind jumper remain in the place over the west. A few weeks short waves while a lot. Or expect to pivot around the basin of the upper level low over the southern Canada during this time. At the surface, a high pressure ridge will build across the Midwest and eastward and the northeast by the end of the weekend. And a cold front is expected to clip the past seven off west and Montana. Out west, the monsoon flow will continue to provide moisture for showers and thunderstorms across the four quarter region as well as in the desert southwest for Wednesday and Thursday. More concentrated areas of rainfall are likely to do the ranges with the upsoil flow in eight and Thunderstorm river open and some of these thunderstorms will keep capable of producing strong and gusty winds and isolated thunderstorms may reach as far as north as Idaho and Wyoming. For the eastern United States, the world's strong low pressure system over Quebec and Ontario will bring a cold front across the United States and the eastern United States and the western end of the front will be like the storm in the deep south for the end of the week. Here this humidity will be present at the front along with its shots of strong thunderstorms. A high quality air mass will be enjoyed by residents from the upper Midwest, Great Lakes, and Ohio Valley in the wake of the cold front. There. Let's take a look at our forecast discussion around the country. Very warm. Oh, let's take a look at our forecast discussion around New England here. Very warm weather will continue today with a few afternoon thunderstorms possible, but mainly dry weather will prevail for most of the region. Much low humidity and seasonal weather return Thursday to Saturday as high pressure builds behind a departing cold front and a high pressure system will move off the coast early next week. Cloud humidity returns along with a whisk of a few shots of thunderstorms. In the near-term forecast until 7 a.m. update, very warm starts of the day with temperatures already in the upper 60s and low 70s at 7 a.m. as clouds that are along the coast. This morning may yield and brief shower sprinkle as a additional short wave energy pivots up the coastline into the southwest flow off. This activity off the New Jersey and Long Island coast may clip the south coast, but not much. Expect much more than sprinkles on the charts front this morning. As yes, for this afternoon, latest HRRR and Rep 13 focus afternoon correction across New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, possibly spilled into West New England as later in the day. That is consistent with global models that indicate mid level dry air infected across the region today in the wake of the Department of Lean shortwave front and associated with an afternoon commission this afternoon from, or at least keep aerial coverage isolated. A previous forecast captures this bill, so no major changes have happened in earlier discussion below. Here. Take a look at our current situation in the tropics. Nothing going on in the Atlantic and in the Eastern Pacific. Fast to us now, our tropical depression here. 11 point for the north, 120 for the north to the west. Maximum stay with about 35 miles per hour winds. Moment west, northwest about 18 miles per hour. It's a tropical depression.